Hello biology students. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Miss Flinker, and today I'm going to demonstrate the bromelain lab. Bromelain is an enzyme found in pineapple. For my lab supplies, you can see I have two different types of pineapple. This is fresh pineapple and then canned pineapple. I also have gelatin. Uh, for this lab, you can use any brand of gelatin. Uh, gelatin is essentially a protein. And I also have a Sharpie to label my cups that I'm going to set the jello in. I have bowls and spoons for measuring the pineapple and a balance so I can get the same amount of each type of pineapple. This lab is not considered hazardous, so I don't need any special safety equipment for the lab. However, you can see that I've tied back my hair. I'm not wearing any dangly jewelry or loose clothing. And I am going to be very careful when I'm making the jello because that involves heating up water. So to start this lab off, I'm going to follow the instructions on the gelatin box to actually make the gelatin. And the instructions say to boil one cup of water, mix in the gelatin powder, and add a second cup of cold water. So here I have the boiled water and I'm going to add my gelatin powder. And after I make sure that this has been thoroughly mixed, I'll add the second cup of cold water. Now luckily, I'm not allergic to any of these materials, which is another safety consideration whenever you're conducting a lab. So now that I've prepared my gelatin mixture, I'm going to measure out the pineapple and then I'll distribute the appropriate pineapple and gelatin to the cups. So here I have my fresh pineapple. And I'm going to measure it on my scale here so that I can make sure I use the same amount of fresh pineapple in the fresh pineapple cup as canned pineapple in the canned pineapple cup. So I zero out my scale with the bowl already in place. And I have a spoon here. I have two spoons, one for the fresh pineapple and one for the canned pineapple because I want to avoid cross-contaminating my samples. Okay. Right now I've got 50.4 grams, so I'm going to try and make the canned pineapple as close to that as possible. Okay, that says 50.8. So that's pretty close. Uh, and with the level of accuracy of this scale, that might be about as close as we can get. And I'm going to label my cups. So this will be for my canned pineapple. And this cup will be for my fresh pineapple.
And I have a third cup here. This one is going to be my control. So this is no pineapple at all. And the reason that I'm doing this control is so that I can see that the jello will set without pineapple. If I was to do this control and at the end of my experiment, the jello in this cup was still liquid, then I would know that something had gone wrong with my jello and that it wasn't related at all to the pineapple in the jello, causing it to stay liquid. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out an equal amount of gelatin into each of my cups. Now I am adding my pineapple to my gelatin. So my control, again, does not get any pineapple whatsoever. The fresh pineapple is going to go into this cup. So I'm going to pour it very carefully. All right, that's the fresh pineapple. And the canned pineapple is going to go into this cup. Okay, and in order to set the jello, the gelatin, I have to refrigerate it and the box says for four hours. So we're gonna take a short break, um, but luckily you won't have to wait as long as I do to see the results of this experiment. So students, I've got the results of our experiment here. And at first glance, it might look like all the jello came out the same. But what we want to check is, did the jello actually set? Did it solidify and become jello? Or is it still liquid? So let's look at our control first. If you take a closer look, you can see that if I tip this, and even if I turn it upside down, it maintains its shape. This is definitely solidified and become jello. Here's our canned pineapple. Let's take a closer look. Again, it appears to have solidified. I can tip it. Completely upside down, it still stays in the cup, still maintains its shape. This jello has set. All right, finally, here's my fresh pineapple. And right away, you can tell it's still liquid. It has not set and it falls right out of the cup. So here's my fresh pineapple. Here's my canned pineapple. And here is my control. Now that we've finished, you can record the data, check to see if your hypothesis is supported and draw conclusions. You could even design a new experiment to see if other types of fruit affect gelatin the same way that pineapple does. Maybe there are other plants that also produce the enzyme bromelain.